Okay, to talk about control devices, we'll use this overhead camera shot where you can see the devices that I'm using. I use three, and they're not all standard. We have a pointing device called a mouse, a standard keyboard, and a special key set we have here. And we're going to go for a picture down in our laboratory in Menlo Park and pipe it up. It'll show you from another point of view more about how that mouse works. Come in, Menlo Park. Okay, there's Don Andrews' hand in Menlo Park. And in a second, we'll see the screen that he's working and the way the tracking spot moves in conjunction with movements of that mouse. I don't know why we call it a mouse. Sometimes I apologize. It started that way, and we never did change it. All right. As it moves up or down or sideways, so does the tracking spot. And the, the principles for its operation are quite easy to see. If you'll turn it over, Don. Can you hear me, Don? We'll turn it over and we'll see. Right. Its principle is that there are two wheels that roll on the surface. But since they're right angles and kind of sharp edges, one roll and the other slide in one direction. Each of, the, each of these wheels controls through a potentiometer with a voltage output sampled by an ADD converter. The numbers taken in by the computer at sample times as to what the horizontal vertical components are to be of where it should put the tracking spot. And as the mouse moves over a surface, then each of those wheels either slides sideways without rolling or rolls in a mouse that very closely duplicates the particular component of horizontal or vertical and the net motion it makes.